this is Steve with Pretty and Things. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Well, today, guys, I'm bringing you the second recap of Life of Kylie. Um, it was only a 30 minute episode, which I believe it's going to be going forward. So um, let's get into it. But before we do, just wanted to let you know in case you're wondering, I am, uh, for the slip, I am pairing um, the Kylie Cosmetic Lip Gloss with a Wet n Wild Lip Pencil in Chestnut. So if you like this, this is what I'm wearing. So um, let's get into this episode. Um, this episode was only, as, as I said, 30 minutes long. And um, it started off with the pop-up store um, in Los Angeles where Kylie appeared in December 2016. And it was absolutely, you know, pandemonium. After that, it sort of panned to Jordan and, and Kylie's team, and um, they were getting Kylie all glammed up, and um, Kris Jenner came in, and um, Victoria and the team sort of, their demeanor changed immediately when she walked in. They became more professional, because and they asked, you know, Victoria how she is when Kris is there, and she was like, Ooh. you know, it's a whole different... Um, sort of demeanor or scenario when Chris is there because you know, she clearly commands respect. So after that, Kylie took a trip to um, Kylie Cosmetics headquarters where the cosmetics are made. It was kind of cool to see that and the people actually, you know, in her employ working and packaging and stuff and um, sort of explain how she got into this when she was like 15, how much she loved makeup, but she was very insecure about her lips and trying to find the perfect lip liner, lipstick combo, and that sort of led her into creating the lip kits. Um, and then you know, obviously what's grown into this enormous business that she did not you know, anticipate. One of the things I found interesting um, was that you know, she mentioned what a blessing it, it was to have a social media because she doesn't have to pay for advertising. And advertising is such a huge part of any um, launch, typically. But these days, between Snapchat and Instagram, she says that's where she does her marketing. That's where she does her advertising. She doesn't have to pay for that. So that, that was really interesting. Um, Kylie, of course, expressed concern about the lip kits that were, you know, being duplicated. And then people, of course, on YouTube saying that her cosmetics were junk, but a lot of them were purchased fakes and uh, that had glue of them, gasoline, and just were not quality products and sometimes dangerous products. So she expressed concern about that. Later on, it goes back to um, Kylie with her team and you kind of get to see the dynamic there with Tokyo and his boyfriend slash manager, Chris, who's always, you know, with Tokyo no matter what he does, like on set or whatever. And um, Chris, you know, expressed concern about that. Like, you know, you should only be in the people who are supposed to be there, if he's your makeup artist, should only be the makeup artist, not or hairdresser, not him and his boyfriend. So um, she told Kylie that you know you're the boss, you have to take the reins and put your foot down when necessary. Um, so you know Kylie sort of took that to heart. She said that she is not a confrontational person, but she can put her foot down and draw the line when necessary. Um, from there. Um, show Kylie at a an event and then she had an interview later and Ariel her makeup artist um, was sort of MIA when she needed a touch up on her makeup which she did herself um, he was kind of like you know dancing around and you know just having a good old time when he should have been you know there you know touching her up it took 15 minutes for him to finally come you know and basically do his job and she was not pleased about that um, Ariel is very like flamboyant and cocky and a bit of a diva and um, there's almost he has this attitude that he somehow made her uh, as opposed to you know her being you know giving him this opportunity they asked Jordan who needed who most and Jordan rightfully said that you know Kylie has done much more in terms of boosting Ariel's career than Ariel has done for Kylie. I mean, who can argue that? But um, 
Ariel does have a, a bit of an ego. Chris mentioned that once that he even refused to fly coach, even though you know the the budget called for it. So you know Kylie's a little bit more lenient on those things, but Chris is concerned about her being taken advantage of by these you know people that are much older than she is um, because she is a younger. She, you know, Chris, like, you know, you are the boss, they need to respect you and basically be on point. So, um, Kylie expressed to Victoria that you know, there are going to be some changes made um, with regards to having entourages, you know, at the various photo shoots. Um, next time when Chris, when, you know, Kylie and, and Jordan were getting glammed up to go to a friend's party, um, Chris was there but briefly and you know he left he seemed kind of salty about that so he then spoke to Victoria and said hey you know what's going on is there a problem you know you know Chris was a little bit hurt by the fact that he's not allowed to be here anymore and Victoria said look this is a result of Chris's situation meaning you know her robbery um, they just want things a little bit tight tighter uh, they only want people on set who, are, who have work to do, who are supposed to be on the set. The makeup artist, the photographer, the hairstylist, not on their entourage. So he got that and he was cool with that and they was like, you know, it's, it's not a personal thing, it's professional and Tokyo was cool with that. Um, after that, you know, Kylie and Jordan set out on their little mission to find where they were selling these lip kits downtown. So sort of, you know, their own little expose. So they drove downtown, and they were on the phone with Chris, and Chris, was, of course, was very concerned that, you know, Kylie and she not get into some sort of confrontation with these people because she didn't know how dangerous it would be. Nevertheless, Kylie and Jordan went downtown, and they were actually selling their, these lip kits outside in this big booth, this huge stand. So Jordan got out and spoke to the woman, but the woman saw the cameras, the woman selling the lip kits saw the cameras, the TV cameras, and she did not want to sell um, Jordan the lip kits on camera because she knew that shit was bogus. So um, Jordan basically grabbed some of the lip kits and slid some, the woman like a $20 bill and just took off. Um, during that time, of course, the paparazzi saw Kylie's Range Rover and they were like surrounding her. So. Um, I'm sure the woman selling the fake lip kits kind of knew that the jig was up at that point. So Kylie and Jordan got, you know, got, got in um, her car her, her, as her Range Rover and they were looking at the fake lip kits and Kylie was just like, oh my gosh, these are terrible. And um, they called Chris and basically reported to her and Chris subsequently said that she would, um, you know, report that, that, you know, bogus you know, cosmetic stand to the proper authorities. Um, I think that was pretty much it, guys. So um, that was a quick recap on to my, my thoughts on that episode. Okay, so this episode was cute, guys. I liked it. It was, it was short um, with commercials, probably 20 minutes. I just, it just feels though, you guys, that they are sort of glossing over a lot of things. I mean, I would have loved to see more in depth of, you know, her brand and more about Kylie, Kylie Cosmetics and, and how she um, sort of formed it and how she built it from, you know, just lip kits to what it is now. They took us to the factory, her headquarters, but they really didn't show us much of that. Um, I would have loved to have seen more. Maybe in the future they will show us more. Also, um, you know, it's interesting how they sort of, you know, paired her with Jordan, who is her best friend. But I just think that, I don't know, I'm glad it's only a 30-minute show. I know on Twitter people are saying, like, I wish it was longer. I don't. I just don't think they have enough material for a full hour. I just don't think she, Kylie and Jordan, could carry a full hour show each week. Um, the great thing about keeping up with the Kardashian is that it was never like the Kim Kardashian show. That show has lasted so long, not just because of Kim, but because she has a strong supporting cast and Chloe and Courtney and the mother and Bruce Jenner and uh, Caitlyn now and all the stuff surrounding them. 
And while it's obviously not the same show, I mean, to add, you know, Kylie is carrying this whole ball by herself. And so I just don't think that there's a, she's showing us enough of her life to, to where it would be interesting for a full hour. Um, on, the, on, on the contrary, I think that her life is much more interesting than what she's letting on, than what she's allowing us to see. Um, I just, I don't know, you guys, I feel like they could have done something a little bit different. I would love to have seen something along the lines of uh, The Simple Life, which was a show about a decade ago with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Um, they were kind of like rich girls, like out of water, doing like various sort of normal things like going on a farm. And I think something like that would have been really cute. I mean, I mean, not exactly the same thing, but some form of that, especially if it were going to be like she and Jordan alone. Um, her team, Kylie's team, um, they're not really, fee I mean, they're like very much supporting care cast in, in the background, but you don't get to see a lot of them and a lot of their personalities. Um, perhaps because they might outshine Kylie. I mean, they, she's got Tokyo and Ariel, and there are some very flamboyant, outgoing personalities um, that are just sort of kept in the background. Um, going forward, I'm looking forward to seeing next week um, what is said about Tyga that sort of alluded to um, or his name was mentioned in the previews for next week and so I'm just interesting to see how forthcoming she's going to be with regards to that relationship, if it's just going to be glossed over. Um, that part is what I'm really looking forward to next week. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this episode, like I said, was cute. Um, she, I love seeing her getting glammed up and, and all of that. But I want to see more of her. I mean, how many premieres and events and, and you know, glam sessions can you see? I mean, it's supposed to be life with Kylie, and obviously that's part of her life. But I would like to see more of her sort of day-to-day, -day, uh, particularly how what she does with regards to her company on a date. I mean, that's a huge part of her um, of her brand. I mean, she's made $420 million up to date. I would love to see more on that personally. And of course, more on her personal life with regards to her romance, her romances, Tyga, Travis Scott. I think some, that is something we, as fans, want to see. So if you like this video, you guys, please like, subscribe, and follow me. Follow me here on Instagram and Twitter. So until next time, guys. Mwah.